Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about Charlie. Um, Charlie is a 61 year old uh, man and uh, he had worked for Victorson County's the enforce, it's called the enforcement, that's what they call it. And um, he worked there for many years and he was a secret investigator. Okay, like that song, Secret Agent. And he worked with Jim, who, who Jim basically started it up uh, this many years ago. And they have expanded to where they are just not the, you know, the enforcement of the, the law, but they also, you know, they have a variety. Like they have investigators, they have, um, they have lawyers, and so forth. They they train people also who are members of the what's was the original group. As this Victorson County is very um, wealthy because of young people when they were young they they start off basically what we think of today as the internet uh, they were ones that assisted in it, in it and they helped one another including the you know Jim and they all work together and they have um, they're wealthy over the years they've brought up so many businesses and uh, not just in Victorson County but mainly that's that's where it began and some of them moved to other states some moved to other countries and uh, well, Jim works for, I mean, Charlie, like I said, to get back to Charlie, he works for the enforcement that is Jim's. And um, he tries to keep things, you know, he's, like I said, private. I mean, he, I'm a private investigator. He's also it's secret to other people that work for them. He's one that only his own crew knows that he still works. He, he says he's retired. Now, um, Jim, I mean, Charlie had worked with Jim before Jim started the enforcement. And so, you know, he knows him very well. And right now, I mean, at this point, Jim is on a an assignment. They, they've been having trouble with uh, people who were in that original group, you know, original group member of the computer people. They... Um, they had a lot of trouble, like right from the start, whenever people started helping one another, and then they started, they had developed um, so much that they said that they needed somebody, you know, two people to basically run it for the whole group, you know, to keep kind of tabs and, not tabs, but, you know, they, they need somebody to help organize it. And that was Derek and Paige. She, uh, they, they, each one of them has a different kind of job. But everybody in it was the original, you know, still, they're, they're free to do what they want to do, you know, they don't have to do as members. But they had some that started right from the start that were basically, you know, just not, they were kind of corrupt people when they were young. And as time went on, they, they tried to take over, and they couldn't, and uh, so basically the, the, um, the original group members they got together and they kicked him out. They kicked him out of the, you know, all, you know, they have no way of accessing any of the information. And they kicked him out and they basically moved to a part of Victorson County that was called the Outlaws. The, the town is called the Outlaws. It was named that century, you know, um, generations past when they first developed the town next to Bella, they needed a place for the county to where they put, you know, where they had jails, and that's what they did, and uh, other things that were, yeah, not only um, like bars and such. And the the outlaws, they never changed it. They never changed the name of the town. The, the people that lived there, now all of them weren't bad, of course, but um, you know, over generations, yeah, you know, they they kept kind of a bad. They they couldn't move back into Victorson County. The other part of Victorson County because of the rules <laughs> um, it just basically that that's the bad town in the county and the county is kind of um, secluded in a way you know from other places and uh, that's anyway they kicked the outlaws out and they lost all their rights and because of what they did they had a choice you know and they kicked them out and they moved to 
the um, outlaws. So it's the outcast living in the outlaws town. So, okay. And as time went by, uh, you know, with just the, them, they they started noticing that these outlaws and the the outlaws and the outcasts, uh, some of them, the bad ones, the bad bad seed, they um, they were doing things like that just wasn't on the yeah, like they were trying really hard to take over. Still, they the outcasts got the outlaws involved, and they want to take over because there's so much money. It's they're so wealthy. The uh, you know every member who's every member who's a group, you know, from the group members, they're very wealthy people, and the whole system's very wealthy, and, uh, well, they try to, they try to take over, and they do things in many ways, like Victorson County, except for them, they have their own, um, uh, social media platform, you think everything that you can imagine, from videos to boards to, you know, whatever, and, um, they they try to get they they can't they can't get access to it. They're not allowed. You have to be a member of Richardson County. Other than that, one. so what? So some of the stuff that they've done over time is to try to get people who live in um, the out the outlaws. You know the outlaws and the outcasts. They try to get them to marry into somebody. You know into a family of people who. Um, you know, people who actually have rights there. Now, only the people who were um, who were de are descendants of the original settlers, the original, you know, um, found founders of the county. They're the only ones who can buy property and own property inside that area, except for that one place. They 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 can't buy any into it. So they try to get marry into it. Things like marry into it. And you know, various ways they try to get access because they, they seem to think that they're going to be able to overthrow like Derek and Paige and all the rest of them. Nobody in it is the boss, but they organize it. So, Okay, now everybody who is like a member of the enforcement, they are not outlaws, outcasts. Members of the enforcement group, Jim's group, um, it's huge. And anybody even the people who are just group, original group members, they are all trained in, you know, combat, um, you know, self-defense kind of thing. And they, at this time, this this goes back to 2020, they were um, all called back because of what was going on, not just in the world, but what was going on with the group, that this whole thing had, with the uh, outcasts and the outlaws had gotten to a critical point and there was more to it than that and so they called them all in you know try to get all of them they're free to do what they want uh, to come back into the county and they all own you know some property or they would be given some place to live uh, if they didn't you know within the county because they really needed to get a handle on this plus they were in danger you know because of these people the outcasts, the outlaws, they were, they were very dangerous. They didn't care. They would go and search for the people who were members to try to get in, you know, to the system and all. So they called them all back in, and, uh, you know, pretty much every one of them, they, they, they came back. They didn't have any problem with them coming back. And, um, you know, those who, did, they just came back. And some had to be kind of like in a way rescued and to, to get back. And, um... And like I said, very wealthy people. They get, I guess you would call them dividends from all these businesses. You know, it's a, like a big pot. You know, they, they helped one another. They helped one another to ve develop businesses, not just there, but outside of the county. Um, like I said. So, everybody got dividends. Well, they, they n nobody really wanted to lose that, those dividends or those the perks. There was a lot of perks to being an original group member. So, they just said, okay. You know, they had, they had grown up and, not really grown up, but since they were young, they've been into that. Plus, they were grew up in that county, and the county has kind of rules that are not like outside of the county. And uh, very wealthy. The county is wealthy. It's run by the um, 
you know, elders of the county. And so nobody really wants to lose their, so, so they know this is part of the score. They, it's not something unusual for them. So they go ahead and um, they came back. Well, with all this going on, uh, Charlie, this was you know, an intro to Charlie, an intro to, to the, why Charlie's doing what he wants to do. I mean, what he's doing. But Charlie is also, you know, part of the, um, he's part of both. The original group members, and he, um, he's a resident. He has his own house. Um, so he is on a, um, you know, an investigation, and he's basically, um, well, that'll be a different video. I just wanted to get out why he's doing this right now, and an intro to him. Um, now he is divorced and he has his own, own house, but he's got like a wandering spirit. So he'll go and stay in different places. Like, um, you know, they have a, um, what's it called? A, oh, uh, like boarding houses, you know, old fashioned boarding houses. And well, still some have boarding houses. And he'll stay in those while he's doing these investigations. He's always works within the county. And, um, but he'll stay in different places. This was a big county, but mainly all towns. And, uh, so that, that's what he enjoys doing, even though he has his own house. Okay. So that's where I'm going to leave off on this one. Just like I said, I want to do a little intro to background and all that kind of stuff. So I'll talk to you on another video.